In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 3, Calculator Permitted. We're now on questions 8 through 11, so the middle of the problem solving section. All right, let's take a look at question 8. We have this equation. In the equation above, A is a constant. If no value of X satisfies the equation, what's the value of A? And so this, you should recognize this type of language, no value of A satisfies the equation. So let's just multiply it out, And um, but this is a, another familiar type question. So I will distribute on the right side. Well, let's just copy the left side. So 2ax minus 15 equals 3x plus 15 plus 5x minus 5. And then I just combine. So on the right side, it's going to be 8x plus 10. 2ax minus 15. So the question is asking, no value of x satisfies. And you should be able to realize that if both of these are the same, if we have 8x on both sides, is there any way to make 8x minus 15 equal to 8x plus 10? No. And so that's really what this question is looking for. So to make both of these terms the same so that the no value satisfies x, a would just be 4. Then we have 8x on both sides. So the answer for number 8 is C. All right, let's take a look at question 9. A system of three equations is graphing the xy plane above. How many solutions does the system have? So we have two lines and a parabola. How many solutions? So all three of these, we've got two linear equations and a parabola. And Really, you're just looking for the point that all three intersect. And so, for example, let's say right here is an intersection. But you notice that's only one line of the parabola. We need all three. So here, both lines intersect with the parabola. This is the only point where we have a solution for this system of three functions. And so the answer here is just one, or B. All right, let's take a look at number 10. The equation above is true for all values of x, where a and b are constant. What is a, b? And this is really a bulky equation. So let's just first multiply this out. And so I'll distribute. We have 5ax cubed, right? I'm just distributing. Then we have minus abx squared and plus 4ax. And now I'm going to do this inside term. And now we have plus 15x squared minus 3bx plus 12. So this is all the left side. And this is equal, I'll just copy this down, 20x cubed minus 9x squared minus 2x plus 12. So this really looks like an awkward, complicated problem. But just pay attention. What's the question asking for? A, B. Now, if the question were, let's say, just asking for a. Okay, you look for to find the same degree term. So here, for example, is a, to the third degree. This is the only one on both sides, and they're equal. So the question we're asking for a would just be 4, right? Because there has to be 20x cubed equals 20x cubed, but it's not. The question is asking for a, b. So similarly, let's look for just the second degree terms. We've only got two on the left side, and on the right side, we know it's equal to minus 9. That's it. And so this question really is not that complicated. And so just think about what number plus 15, right? But it, it, it's a really a negative here. So you're subtracting from 15 equals negative 9. And so the answer, AB, is just going to be 24 because it's negative 24, negative 24 x squared plus 15 x squared equals negative 9 x squared. Really, again, just look for shortcuts. And another way, I think, to save a little bit of time so you don't get too anxious on this question, it's only number 10 out of 15. So it's really sort of a medium difficulty problem in uh, this section. So it's just C for this one. All right, last question on this page, number 11. Which of the following represents all the possible values of x that satisfies the equation above? There's a couple ways to it. You could academically do it. You could, what I call, um, Academically, it's just sort of the way you're supposed to solve it. So we could just cross multiply and we get 2x, right? And then I'll just distribute this and we get equals 2x squared minus 6x 
and then I can subtract 6x to both sides. So I get 2x squared equals 8x. We're looking for all the solutions here. So one way to do it, we could just divide both sides by 2x, and we could see x is 4, but don't forget about 0. 0 would also work. Another way to do it, I think, and I actually recommend, um, is just plug in the answers here, because it guarantees that you don't make a mistake. And so if we had a 0 on the top, we know that both of these, any 0 in the numerator is going to be 0, right? So that would be a solution. But also for Right, if you plug in a 4 here, you get 4 over 1, right? 4 minus 3 is 1, so that's just 4 equals 8 over 2. So that works. So you plug in the answers, cross and multiply, but the answer here is B.